So guys, we've got the arm of the arm out here. We're gonna drive it around a little bit first. Just kind of get used to it. So the only problem with this ramp, guys, is it likes to move around. But it'll work for what we're doing for now. So this thing is pretty slow, even stock. I know some guys online have been like, I don't get why guys gotta make these brushless. It's pretty slow compared to your bigger trucks. Maybe if you're someone that's never drove RC stuff, you might not really know, but if you're someone who drives a lot of RC stuff, you're going to notice. So I don't know if we're going to be able to, but I'd like to kind of get a, a good hit on this ramp and actually air this thing out. See what I can take with those stock plastic shocks. We're not necessarily trying to break it, but if we break it, it gives us an idea of what it can take and what it can't take. And I'm hoping my battery lasts this whole battery on my camera. Camera's pretty dead, I forgot to charge it. I keep missing it by like an inch. There you go, there's a pretty good one. Let's try hitting this side now. So that was landing pretty hard on that back wheel and it stayed together surprisingly. So that's good to see. I haven't had the body pop off yet either in any of my crashes, which I'm kind of surprised to see. Usually with these clipless models, that's like one of the first things you see is the body's always popping off. And I know I've seen a couple of videos of these where the body's popped off. So that was kind of a bad hit on the ramp. It is about 35 degrees outside guys. So it's a little colder out today too. I will say it does jump nice though. Let's do it back up here. Nothing to work out. Doesn't have any delay from backward to forward. That might be something you can change in the settings, I'm not sure.
So guys, from stock, it does not wheelie a lot. So a wheelie bar is not necessary stock. Um, I was curious about that because I seen online they sell a wheelie bar. And I was just curious if it was going to be a wheelie, little wheelie monster, but it don't seem to be as of yet. And I don't know if this ES is going to take 3S. Um, if you were able to pop a 3S in here, you'd probably get some wheelie out of it. But stock, nah. Not on this cement anyways. But now it's really turning left and right. You guys notice that? I think the... And someone else actually mentioned this. Uh, I don't remember who it was that I watched. It might have been Tomley that I watched. And he said that his servo kept going out of whack. It might not have been Tomley. It might have been someone else. But either way, someone I watched said that the servo goes out of whack after you're driving and you're kind of abusing it. Now it looks like it's going pretty straight, but. That was a pretty good fly there. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to run through that water. Whoops. Oh, well, I guess we'll see if it's waterproof. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. That felt like it hit the ramp more than I actually jumped the ramp. But yeah, guys, these things do 19 to 21 is where I've seen the median speed on uh, YouTube. So I'm not going to do a speed test on it. There's so many out there already. But I want to get some video of jumping it onto the street in colder weather. I want to see how hard, good held up we will eventually get some runs like in the grass and stuff but there's still a few inches of snow around here on the ground so for this video guys this is gonna be it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did drop a like and subscribe